And sometimes people ask me the question, uh, Jeff, how can I be at peace? Or how can I relax? Or how can I be at rest? And I, I think many people believe that that's what spirituality is all about. It's like becoming more and more relaxed, more and more peaceful, more and more at rest, more and more calm. The problem is, <laughs> the more you try to be at peace, the more you try to be calm, the more you try to relax, the more you are actually working against your present experience, the more you are resisting your present experience. It's like you want to get from here to there. You want to get from here where you are, which maybe is not peaceful, is not relaxed, is not restful. Maybe in your present experience you notice uh, disturbance, you notice restlessness right now, you notice a sense of resistance, uh, you notice just the body is not feeling calm. But then we get this idea, this image, this dream, this picture in the mind of this place where we want to be or where we should be called relaxation, called peace, called calm. So it's like we want to get from where we are to this other place this destination, it's like the mind makes peace into a destination. Well, the mind makes everything into a destination. Peace, love, bliss, enlightenment, calm. So the problem then, of course, is just that you're, you're resisting where you are. It's like you're saying, I don't want to be where I am having this experience. I want to be peaceful. I don't want to be where I am having this experience. I want to be relaxed. I want to be at rest. So then you're just at war with, with where you are. And so this idea that being spiritual is all about being peaceful or being relaxed or being calm, it's really just, it's an image, you know? And then you just end up trying to, trying to be the peaceful one, pretending to be the peaceful one, pretending to be relaxed, pretending to be calm. So we want to throw all of that out. We're not interested in a spirituality that is about pretending, or that is even about trying to be something that you're not. So my invitation is, you know, whenever I get asked this question to people, is like, well, just for a moment, can you stop trying to be at peace? Stop trying to relax and actually turn towards your present experience as it is. Like, get really curious about your present experience. Even if right now you're feeling not relaxed, even if not, right now you're feeling restless, even if right now there's a sense of tumult, of, 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 there's like a storm happening inside you. Instead of trying to get from here to there, instead of trying to make our present experience match this image, because it is an image, this image, this dream in the mind of peace, just for a moment, can we throw away the dream the image of peace, throw away even the concept of peace and actually turn towards this restlessness in the body, turn towards uh, this seeming lack of peace. What's it like actually right now to not feel at peace? Can we begin to become curious? And this is true meditation. I mean, the way I teach it, this is true meditation, getting really, really curious about your present experience, about what's happening in your body without trying to get rid of it, without trying to fix it, without trying to change it, without trying to make it match some image, some secondhand image of peace. The body is not interested. The body is not interested right now in being at peace, in being calm, in being relaxed. That's your mind demand on the body. So just for a moment, can we throw out all these demands? Can we throw out these images of how we should be I should be calm, I should be peaceful, I should be relaxed. No, you shouldn't. It's a lie. It's a lie. And actually bless ourselves as we are. Send a curious, loving, warm awareness deep into the body. Get really curious. What's happening in your belly, in your chest, in your throat, in your head? Maybe when you look, you notice there's disturbance in the body. There's a, a, like a tight feeling in the belly or a fluttery feeling in the belly. There's like a sense of pressure in the chest or like a contraction in the throat or like a heaviness in the head. Whatever you find, just for a minute, just for a moment, throw out all the concepts, all ideas of how you should be, that you should be at peace, that you should be relaxed. 
And can you actually begin to allow the body to be as it is, even if the body is not relaxed? It's like saying to the body in this most loving voice, it's like saying to the body, hey, like, I know that right now you're not at peace. I know that right now you're not relaxed. I know that right now you're aching, you're hurting. I know that right now there's, there's a disturbance. And that's okay. Just for a moment, not trying to make the body into something that it's not, to match your image of peace, but to actually begin to bless the body, to bless your present experience as it is, to accept it, to allow it, to welcome it. Again, whatever words work for you. And, and what's really important as well is we're not, we're not even trying to make the present moment match our image of acceptance or image of welcoming or image of allowing. If Throw all that away as well. Throw the word allowing away. Throw the word acceptance away. If there is non-acceptance in your experience right now, if there's a sense of non-allowing, if there's a sense of resistance in your present experience, in the belly, in the chest, in the throat, in the head, just for a moment, can we even throw out our concepts of acceptance? Oh, I have to accept this. No, you don't. I'm not even saying that. Can we throw away all sense of trying? And again, just bless the moment as it is with your attention. If there's resistance here, okay. If there's non-acceptance here, okay. Um, just not trying to make your present experience match the image of how it should be. Not the image of peace, not the image of calm, not the image of relaxation, not even the image of acceptance, throwing away all the images and allowing, allowing, um, even allowing a sense of non-allowing. This is what we're talking about is a much deeper kind of allowing, a much deeper kind of acceptance, a much deeper kind of peace, actually. And this is the, the massive paradox for the mind. This isn't a question of how I can get, how can I get rid of my non-peace? and get to a place called peace. Throw that out. This is a deeper kind of peace. A deeper kind of peace in which even this moment of non-peace, this moment of disturbance, this moment of ache, you know, a, a tightness in the belly or a pressure in the head, even this is held in the arms of awareness, the arms of life, the arms of this, this bigger peace, this bigger peace that even allows an experience of non-peace. Again, it's not something you can understand with your mind. It's, uh, what we're really talking about is, is love, really, is, is drenching your present experience with, with unconditional love. Not trying to love it, actually. Um, not trying to be anywhere that you're not. But just really turning towards your present experience and, and opening your arms wide to it, you know? Um, so this is really my invitation to throw out even this idea of being at peace. Even this idea of, oh, well, I should be relaxed, I should be calm, because that, that means I'm more spiritual, you know? Uh, actually, everything is spiritual, even an experience of disturbance in the body, non-peace. It's a very spiritual experience. Everything is spirit. Everything is life. Life would even take the shape of this apparent disturbance in the body, a, a tightness in the belly or in the chest, a, a contraction in the throat, a pressure in the head, um, a beat, you know, a, a racing heart, a, a warmth in the body. Uh, life takes all of these forms, so it's all spiritual. So it's not more spiritual to be peaceful than non-peaceful, actually. It's not, it's not more spiritual to be relaxed than to have disturbance in the body. We, we've really, we like hold up these impossible ideals for ourselves, put so much pressure on ourselves, especially as, you know, so-called spiritual people, um, to have to be relaxed all the time or calm all the time or um, at peace. Uh, you just start to see that in your 
trying to be at peace, you cause so much stress. <laughs> it's so stressful sometimes trying to be at peace. And when you can just allow yourself to not be at peace, you know, bless this experience, allow this experience, however you want to say it, you actually, paradoxically, you feel that that's when there's the real possibility of feeling truly at peace, at peace with your non-peace, relaxed with your non, the sense of non-relaxation, calm even in the midst of the storm, not calm as the opposite of the storm, not peace as the opposite of war, but the, again, this bigger peace, this bigger peace that ultimately you are, that life is, that holds you exactly as you are, as a, as a loving mother would hold her child, saying, oh, you're not at peace right now, and, and that's okay. Oh, you're feeling some disturbance in the body, and that's okay. You wouldn't say to a child, you must be at peace. This is what we do to ourselves. You must relax, you must be calm, because that's, then you'll be a good spiritual boy or girl. This is what we do to ourselves. This is certainly what I used to do to myself. Oh, I have to be at peace. I have to be at peace. So sometimes we just have to throw out the very idea of peace and drench our experience with welcoming, with love, with curiosity. Allow ourselves to not be at peace and know how deeply, 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 deeply okay that is. Thank you.